Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you Pokemon Black version 2 running on the Nintendo 3DS XL. This is obviously a Nintendo DS game. It is my understanding that this game was too far into development for them to turn it into a Nintendo 3DS XL game. They have however released a mini game for the Nintendo 3DS XL called Pokemon Dream Raider. I would show it to you though it's a bit too hard because it uses aug augmented reality which basically means that you need to stand up and you know point it in all sorts of um, different directions around the world and you basically um, shoot clouds and catch Pokemon and once you have um, caught the Pokemon you can actually import them into Pokemon Black and White version 2. So now let's run the actual game. So since it is a DS game, it obviously doesn't utilise um, the whole um, wide screen at the top there. And obviously if you move the 3D slider up and down, it's not going to do anything. Since the game is in 2D, not 3D. The intro looks alright. You know, it's not really of a high quality in terms of, you know, the resolution and all of that. So you can't expect too much from a DS game, really. Let's just skip that and get straight into the game. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay so you can get a feel as to how the game looks on the Nintendo 3DS XL or even the Nintendo 3DS. So basically at the top here is where you play the game. And at the bottom here is your C gear, which is basically a communication device. And if you click X, this sort of brings up your inventory, where you can access Pokemon, your bag, you can save the game, access your Pokedex, etc., the game options. This is basically what the bag looks like. You have a few different bags inside of it. I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay, not too much, just so you can get a feel as to how the world looks. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to the top screen, hopefully you can see that. So as you can see the graphics are pretty decent for a DS game, not really a 3DS game. All of the towns are very nice, um, they are very different from one another, it doesn't feel like you are seeing the same town each time, which I really like. So this is Nimbasa City. I'm quickly just going to show you one of the Pokemon gyms. Um, another thing that I really like about this game is that all of the Pokemon gyms are completely different from one another. So there were two Pokemon gyms in this town. There's an old gym which you don't really use and there is a new gym. Um, I will quickly show you the old Pokemon gym in this town. And look over here, we have um, two Pikachu statues, which are pretty nice. So this is the old Pokemon gym, which I will quickly show to you. So this gym is a bit of a roller coaster, which is pretty neat. You basically ride a roller coaster to the top. And the other Pokemon gym in the game, or the new Pokemon gym, which you actually use in this game, I haven't gotten the badge for it yet. It's a bit of a fashion walk. And this is pretty cool, you have a bit of a Ferris wheel with Pokeballs on it. That's just a vending machine over there. Is this, yep, this is the new Pokemon Gym. I have run against all of the trainers in this run except for the last one, the Gym Leader. So it looks pretty cool. And also the music is pretty good in this game. They have a little bit of music that you will notice throughout the game, which is in English, which is um, pretty cool. So overall, I definitely recommend getting this game, even if you have a Nintendo 3DS or a Nintendo 3DS XL. You really get into the game. You know, the graphics are pretty impressive for a DS game. Though despite it not being a 3DS game, you won't really notice too much after a while after you know you get over the um, game not taking all of the top screen and not being into it etc so that is um, pretty much it for this video um, tell me what you think um, if you have a Nintendo 3DS or a Nintendo 3DS XL are you going to get um, Pokemon Black or White version 2 or have you already gotten them 
and you know, um, yeah, basically tell me what you think of them. Do you notice the fact that it's a DS game or not that much? And um, feel free to put your um, Nintendo 3DS um, friend ID in the description below or the comment section below, sorry. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video and thanks for watching.